gluten-free recipe because I'm using turkey. I'm just trying to be a little healthier. So I've already got my pot. Added a little olive oil because of the lean turkey. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that in. I'm going to use my hand because I don't want that extra liquid to get in there and start popping all over the place. I'm going to wash my hand. Oh, yeah. Always wash your hands after uh, hand rolling poultry. Hello, Kaz. How are you? And if you guys are just tuning in, um, this is Ashley. Ash be cooking. No G. And I am October Dragonfly, and she is making some goulash, a semi-country style way. Um, she's using turkey instead. And this is Food Talk TV. If you just give us a follow, we'd really appreciate that. And if you tap that screen, likes up on the uh, For You page. We really appreciate that. All the different turkey chicken. Okay, so that's the turkey. I also have some green bell peppers and some onions. Go ahead and add that in. Now, did you put any oil in the bottom of your pan at all? Yes, I used olive oil. Okay, I missed that part. <laughs> I'm going to add the onions in. I don't think I need as many as I put in here, so I'm not going to use all of them. That's what you say. Measure with your heart on that. <laughs> with your heart, and also, since I'm live, I didn't want to sit here and waste a bunch of time mincing garlic, so I have some pre-minced garlic, and I'm just going to put about a teaspoon or two teaspoons in of that. Ashley, I call that fresh from the jar. <laughs> Fresh from the jar. Yeah. Saves a little time. Ain't nobody got time for all that. Nobody got time for all of that. Especially mm -hmm. when we're Go ahead and add that. Awesome. And I like to mince the garlic because I can add it with the onions. It doesn't burn as bad as the original. Yeah. Nobody likes burned garlic. Um, that kind of gives it almost like a bitter taste. And so all the seasonings I have, let me show you guys the seasonings. I'm going to be using some Italian, some Lowry's. Uh, lower that a little bit. You're a little too oh. high. There okay. You go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So these are all the seasonings I'm going to be using. Oh. Let me get this out of the way. And then I'm going to use this to make the beef broth. Hi, Aston. Ashton just popped in, and Kaz is in as well. Hi. Um, Hi I asked about noodles. I'm going to be using noodles. I would usually use elbow, but I'm going to use these because, I don't know, I like these. They're pretty cool. They're these guys. Oh, yeah. I love those. The, uh, uh, what are they called? Kapitavi or something? Um, I can't what crazy name is. Yeah, we'll just do, we'll butcher it. Tortoli sounds good. <laughs> Italian, let me know. Yeah, that's Frank. <laughs> Belly button noodles. That's what uh, Ash Ashton called them. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey guys, if you're not already, just go ahead and follow Food Talk TV. Uh, this is Ashby cooking, and she's making some goulash today. Also, you can check us out on all of our social medias like uh, Facebook. We po repost all of our um, lives there as well as on YouTube. And then you can also follow us on Instagram. There's all kinds of things on there. And foodtalktv.com. Like, that's going to find you everything that you want to see. Yep. So this recipe will be posted later. I'm going to go ahead and just add some seasonings. I showed you guys the seasonings, but I'll let you know as I go. I'm going to add some Italian, a little I bit. love that big old jar. I know, right? It's mm -hmm. better than Frank, so. The garlic powder. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, some Lowry's, because you can't go wrong with some all-purpose. Oh, you've got 100 people in here right now. All right. Thank you guys for joining. Appreciate you guys being here. I am a Dano's partner, so I like to always incorporate a little bit of that yum yum, get you some in there. That's right. You know, he's from uh, around where I grew up, the Louisville area. 
Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. So wait, you're from Kentucky? I'm not from Kentucky. I'm from Indiana, just across the river from Louisville. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And a little onion powder. Actually, a lot. I love onion powder. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now I just have to let this brown. And then I'm going to show you guys how I make my beef broth with this better than bouillon. This stuff is so good. It is the best. You should definitely try it because I think it packs in more flavor and you can adjust the amount of flavor by changing the ratio of this to water. If you want more flavor, just don't add as much water or add more of that. Exactly. And they have, they even have vegan ones. I didn't know this, but they have a garlic bouillon that's nothing but garlic. Um, they have a vegetable one. I, I, I have one at the house. I'll have to show you guys like later or something. You know what? I think I have one here. Um, I'm at work right now and I think they have one because um, somebody here is vegan. So I'm going to grab that and show you guys real quick. I am also at work just to let you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm fortunate to be able to be doing this at work. Yeah, same. <laughs> they don't care as long as I've done what I need to do, right? So I think this is what you were talking about. The lighting is not too good, so let me come over here. This one yeah. is the roasted garlic. That's the one. I love this. I just put that in my enchiladas yesterday. Oh. And this is the vegetable one. Yep, that's it. But I'm so using the beef today because I'm I'm using turkey, but I still want to get that like down home beefy flavor. I'm just trying to be a little healthier with the turkey today. Yeah. Yeah. I was just trying to say that there are other options. If you guys are not like meat eaters, you can do plant based situations with this. Yes. Yes. And thank you for bringing that up because um, I don't often do recipes that are vegan. Or Me either. <laughs> bad. So thank you for bringing that up. Uh, do they have salt-free ones? I don't recall seeing one. I don't think they do that I've seen, but you never know. That'd be interesting if they did. Mm -hmm. Just while this is browning, I'll give you guys a little overhead shot. Oh, yeah. It's already looking pretty good. Yeah, it'll come together. It's the good thing about recipes like goulash is that they originated from, you know, people just making a meal out of what they had so there's really no wrong way to do this, this is yes just... definitely tap those screens Andrea said tap those screens yes thank you guys so much we appreciate the likes and especially the shares it helps not only me but the rest of the members of food talk tv oh ah, trisha's here hello sketchy chef hello sketchy chef Guys, if you're not already following Food Talk TV, follow Food Talk TV. Also follow Ashby Cooking, myself, October Dragonfly, Cooking with Kaz, Just Like Granny, Sketchy Chef, Gluten-Free Mama Ann, Sherry underscore Skinner. Um, what is Rx um, at Cook, uh, Guadua Cooks um, and Frank Mentors SF? If I've forgotten somebody, please let me know. <laughs> yes. There's like... Eight, nine, or ten of us now. There's a lot. Yeah, there's more. Oh. Bama is in the house. There's Sherry Skinner right there. <laughs> Hi, Bama. She's in the new guest. She's already our number one top viewer. Yes. Okay. So. And please share the live with your friends. We appreciate that. I'm going to go. Looks like. Water with this to make the beef bake. So. Or the beef broth. Okay. I'm going to go fill this with water. I'll be right back. Don't you go nowhere. Okay. That's all right. While she's doing that, um, I'm going to challenge you guys to share this either on your Twitter, on your Facebook, however you want to share it. Um, share it at least one time, if not twice. If you can do it twice, let me know in the comments. That would be kind of cool. Uh, goulash came from Russia and Hungary. Yes, it did. Yes. And... That's like that. Like I was saying, that's the beautiful thing is that recipes have traveled the world and have been shared and people have made it their own. So there's no wrong way to do this. But if you want this recipe, I will add it to the website later. This is just a tablespoon of whoop, this and I am just mixing it in with water to make a bra. That is Miss Sherry's favorite brand of stuff to add. <laughs> I think she I love her better than bouillon. <laughs> I 
gonna see. Use another spoon to scoop it out. Yeah, yeah. But that means another dish. <laughs> and we don't have time for that. No, no. <laughs> but thank you. So that's what it looks like. But yeah. I'm gonna make hot, uh, what does this say? Um, hello all from Chef Jeff. Sketchy Chef Hot Chip Challenge. I don't know. She's whisking it up. She's getting whiskey. Yes. So now we have beef broth. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to be using these um, diced tomatoes and a little bit of tomato sauce. Okay. Measure with your heart. All this is going to be measured with your heart, but I will put um, an estimate of the measurements I used, but you, know, you can always add. You can't take away. So if you follow any of my recipes, keep that in mind. Yep. Do a little of it, taste it, because that's how I cook most of the time. I try really hard to get rich for you guys, though. And that's why goulash is so forgiving as well. Um, you can literally add what you want to it, and it's just whatever you like, whatever your taste is. Yeah. And guys, uh, Missy, she's not making spaghetti. She's making goulash. Uh, Andrea, gluten-free mama Ann, uh, she said she stopped measuring a while ago. You know, yeah, the pressure back measurements as an online content creator is, is really, it's tough because I, I'm like, I don't know exactly how much I use, but yeah. That is a struggle for me on every video. I'm like, how much? That much. I think Sherry says, you do you, boo. <laughs> yep, I'm actually putting some of my first video. Watch the video while you're cooking because that'll get me. Okay, so we're going to open this pan diced tomatoes. I'm going to use about half or so of this very small portion, which is odd because goulash is usually made in big old pots to feed like a whole village, basically. Um, Ashton wants to know, is this the, is this meal for the lady you cook for? Yes, actually, this is one of the meals that she likes. Now, I would say she's a little bougie, so she normally don't eat stuff like this, but I think this is something that takes her back to her childhood, so she actually does like this one. Okay. Uh, M underscore missy says your kitchen is nice it's not my very nice <laughs> i'm at work cooking for someone right now right. super nice turkey onions green peppers and seasonings and garlic now let's add a little bit of the fire roasted diced tomatoes Use about half of the can of this. If you guys aren't already, just go ahead and uh, go up here to the top corner where it says Food Talk TV. Tap that and hit the little bell so that every time we go live, you'll get a notification. Yes, we appreciate all the likes and especially the shares. It helps put us on the For You page. And we just appreciate you being here most of all. So thank you guys. And a little bit of tomato sauce. Not much. I'm probably only going to use about between a third and a half of this. Okay. All right. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. Uh, don't. Oh, I'm not tapping the screen. It's not me. I was tapping it earlier. I have, I have stopped tapping the screen because we can't hear you because it keeps uh, popping in and out. Like the sound does. Oh, I had that issue before whenever I was in the box for Ashton. They kept saying they heard me tapping. I don't know why. Okay, so let me show you guys. So this everybody else is going to make up my tapping. <laughs> <laughs> so this okay. is the ground turkey, the diced um, green peppers, onion, garlic, diced tomatoes, and tomato sauce. Oh, man, that looks that so beautiful. Nice. It's, like, so colorful. Yes, I, I love, love that. Food. 
And I'm going to let this go. I'm going to put this on high heat for just a minute to let everything kind of come together before I add the broth. Oh. Because then the broth has to come up to a boil before I can add the noodles. Oh, let's see here. Ashley's throwing out a challenge. She says she just shared this to 15 people. She bets that no one can top her. Come on, guys. You guys can do it. I know. It's only been shared just a few times. Somebody can do it. Mm -hmm. I know you can. Oh, yeah. So definitely check out foodtalktv.com. Uh, there is a myriad of recipes on there. You can also check out all of our creators. Um, the creators uh, tags and handles are on there. There's, um, I think there's nine or 10 of us now. And uh, you can check us out there as, long, or as well as our recipes uh, that are posted there as well. Okay, I'm letting this get nice and bubbly. Ooh, on high yep. How did you learn this recipe? Um, by making things that I had in my kitchen. Well, watching my family members make this whenever I was young. You know, we didn't have a lot of money, but we had enough to have some basic ingredients. And we always had, you know, macaroni noodles. And we usually had, like, ground beef. And... We just made made what we could with what we had, and I've kind of added some tweaks to it, mostly just with the type of seasonings I use. But for the most part, this is my childhood in a pot. Trial and error. I, I get that. That was something that my mom made too. It's kind of like you just uh, she made it with rice sometimes, though. Yeah, I love that. I usually make rice separately and put this on top of it. Mm-hmm. If you want to get the last bits of that, you can add a little more water or the liquid from here. But I think I put enough, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. I'm going to let this come up. What is a, a myriad? Oil. A myriad is just like a bunch of different things, like just a whole bunch of different kind of things that come together. A myriad of things that come together. And there's no <laughs> Ashton says it needs cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese, definitely. I put cheese. I even am aware this wasn't something I grew up doing, but I put, like, a dollop of uh, sour cream on there as well. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, she paused me. Sorry, y'all. Oh, you're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. The ring doorbell no, okay. was... Oh. All right, so I'm going to let this come up to a boil. And this, sometimes we would add corn because it would just be something that we had around. So I may add a little bit of this. I typically don't, but I'm trying to make this the way that my family made it. So I'm going to add just a little bit of this frozen corn. If you have um, canned corn, you can wait until later and add it in. It doesn't really matter. But since this is frozen, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit now. During the end of summer, closer to harvest time when the corn is ready, like right now. Um, that was something 100% we would add to our goulash. Yeah. Because it was available. Seasonal. I mean, it could have different ingredients based on where you are, you know, and like regionally what you have available. So like, yeah, there's no right or wrong way to do this at all. So I encourage you to go to our website later and get this recipe. Try it out. Add your own twist to it. And then come back and let us know. Let us know how it came out for you. <laughs> she said, that's, uh, Ashton says, that's uh, calories you're counting. You're not eating. Girl, scrape that bowl. She's like, scrape the bottom of that bowl. You know. I'm, yeah, you're my better. family's same. You better scrape that bowl. <laughs> no wasting, you know what I mean? You're not going to waste. Yeah, scrape all that good good out there. <laughs> Which website? Well, it's Food Talk TV. Dot com. See, we're not wasting. Ashton reminded me that we never wasted whenever we were growing up, so we're not going to start now. That's right. Okie dokie. So I'm also going to add, I don't know what just popped up there, just one bay leaf because this is not that much. So, Wadua well, Cooks is in the house. Hello, Rx. How are you? Hello. Yeah, corn and tomato. 
guys follow Guadua Cooks, follow Just Like Granny, follow uh, Cooking with Kaz. Let's see, Just Like Granny, I said. Uh, Bama, I think she's, it's Sherry underscore Skinner, but you can follow either one. Uh, she does both. And I have customers coming in, so I need to pause myself. So I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so... just going to let it come up to a really good boil. Okay. I just uh, muted myself for a minute. Okay. Okay. I'm ready to add the, what would normally be elbow macaroni, but I wanted to try these um, noodles here. I think they're called trotoli, but correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Now the goulash is rolling. I'm going to turn the heat to about medium. So when that starts boiling, that's when you add your noodle. Yes. And there have been times whenever I've just boiled the noodle separately and added it in. But on mm -hmm. Wednesdays, I try to do a theme here at work where I do one pot Wednesdays just so that I have some kind of thing to stick to. So this is a meal for a client. So yes, one pot Wednesday. Awesome. Ashton did say it needs cheese, though. So, oh, yeah. and then said they're going to put cheese on top of theirs. Oh, yes. I do put cheese on top of mine. Uh, Lori is in the house. Hello, Chef Bradley. Um, everybody says, share the live. Share this live, please. It would help us so much. Yep. And then Ashby cooking. Definitely tap the screen, everyone. That is looking so amazing. Yes, and it shouldn't take too long for the, the noodles to soften up. But um, if you missed it, I did add a bay leaf. So we got to make sure we remove that before we serve so that nobody gets this in their bowl. Because yeah, they're kind of tough. Nobody likes that. Yes. Um, yes, everybody does kind of know everybody in here. <laughs> yep. Follow Food Talk TV. We have yep. lots of different creators now. We have new members that have been added recently. Um, a lot of authentic recipes, a lot of southern recipes, easy recipes. I'll be right back. And today, if you are just joining, I'm making goulash, one pot goulash with ground turkey. I'm trying to be a little healthier. Oh, goodness. I hate that noise. Okay. So I'm just going to read the comments a little while she's away. Hey, everyone. Ow, I just burnt myself. Yes, tap those screens. I'm tapping the screen myself. <laughs> Belly button noodles. Keep that bay leaf in there. How long do you think I should keep it in, Ashton? I usually just take it out whenever the noodles are done, but what is your experience with that? Thank you guys for sending the likes. Thank you guys for sharing. I appreciate it. And if you're not following me, go ahead and follow me on Ash B. Cooking, no G. And be sure to follow Food Talk TV along with the rest of the creators on Food Talk TV. There's a website at the link in the bio, so you can go and see everyone's picture, recipes, and everything that you need to make any of the delicious recipes. Normally I would serve this with cornbread, but 
I'm not going to do that today. That's how I was raised on it. But my client, she just likes a little bit of sour cream and cheese. So that's what I'm going to do for her. All right, let me show you guys how this looks so far. That's one this thing I get like to do. A... Okay. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. So we're just waiting for the noodles to soften at this point. Yes. Nice. And if the liquid evaporates too much, then, you know, you can always add more. And that's why... You know, you were saying earlier that, you know, goulash is a forgiving dish. How old is and some like people? Oh, she is 80, so she's pretty old and picky. And, yeah, so she likes this. So that is a good sign. When you get that old, I think you can choose what you want. <laughs> yes. She told me that I made the best salmon she's ever had in her life, and that's not even one of my, I thought I was crap at making salmon, but she's definitely boosted my confidence, and she'll give out a tip or two here and there, and I always take note of that, so, you know, the, the older, the wiser, so I, I definitely listen. Yeah, so that's all we're waiting on right now, you guys, is for the noodles to get soft. Now, do you serve any kind of bread or anything yeah. like with that on the side or anything else with it? I would normally do cornbread, but I'm just going to do probably some white rice. Today. All right, let's pick up what we dropped. Yeah, she will be posting this recipe on Food Talk for sure. I do yep. love elderly. Yeah. Yes, they are the best, you guys. They have years of wisdom to share. I have a little flat paper sack. Here's a little flat paper sack if you want to use that. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. you. Okay. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey, guys, make sure there's nothing on the floor. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. No candy on the floor? Don't thank lock the so door. Much. All right, thanks. Let mom push it. If anyone missed the seasonings that I used, here you Sorry. go. You're fine. Can you see the seasonings good? One bay leaf. I love this Kinder. Garlic powder, Italian, Lowry's, or any all-purpose. Sometimes I use Slap Your Mama when I'm at home, but mm -hmm. I didn't have that here. And I like a little tiny bit of a kick. I just got addicted to this stuff. So I put it in everything. Just a little dash of this. Dan and it's not salty either. No, it's not. It's low sodium. Zero mm -hmm. calories. Onion powder goes in everything. Y'all already know that. For sure. Man, that is so good. I can't wait till you plate it up. It's going to look amazing. Yes, uh, guys, I am being impatient right now. These noodles need to hurry up. I'm about to turn it on high, but I don't want to mess with it. Girl, don't do not do it. <laughs> I know. Don't do it. Just be patient. Yeah, get that bay leaf down in there. Yes, get down yeah. in there. Do your thing. Oh, JoJo's in here. Yay. Hi, JoJo. Let me find. Right here. JoJo just came oh. our num became our number three follower. Is Chef Bradley's um, ready to eat. If you want to speed up the process, cover it instead of cranking it on high heat. Um, That's right. Keep it, keep it where it's at. And also, yep. I was losing some liquid due to the evaporation, so I want to kind of keep that in there. So Thank sorry. I wanted you guys to see it, but I'm going to close it for a little bit. Got to. Uh, Got to get the steam in there so it gets those noodles soft. I 100% get that. So, uh, y'all need to follow him. Yes, go follow him. His tag is Homo Pomo Chef 253. And um, he goes live a lot when he's in his restaurant there cooking. And Ooh. it's just loud to watch. <laughs> I love it. And I fangirl what? over him. Because so <laughs> he also helps with his mom and stuff. And I love that. And I love that little dog, Louie. <laughs> Um, I was going to ask you what, when you grew up on goulash, how would you serve it or how would it be served to you? 
<laughs> so my mom was not the cook. So it was goulash was anything that we had that was like put into the pan. So a lot of the times it was rice because it was inexpensive. Um, but sometimes it was just spaghetti because, you know, spaghetti noodle. I don't know why. Like sometimes elbow macaroni would be on sale and spaghetti wouldn't or spaghetti would be and elbow wasn't. So it was whatever we could afford, whatever was on the 10 for 10 sale. You know, that's what we got. Would so. you would you like it with um you put rice she put rice inside of the dish oh, like a jar or everything in the same pot? <laughs> yes, I was not a cook. <laughs> I no, wanted to separate. I, as long as it tasted good and everybody was fed, that's all that matters. Yep, pretty much. And cornbread on the side, yes. Oh yes, I love sweet cornbread. Have you ever had pinto beans and cornbread? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> so long I was thinking about making it but I forgot about it almost but I think I got so tired of eating it when I was young that I just haven't made it since we did cheese and sour cream on ours too uh Ashton I was like when we could you know yeah not growing up I don't think we kept sour cream in our fridge we it was a foreign thing for me but I love sour cream as an adult yes I will load this up Hang on. Oh, that's Kevin. <laughs> that's one of the owners. He's uh, running around here. He's, I think they're done in the back making candy canes for the day. And candy canes? Yeah. Or French <laughs> too. Did you guys make French too today? Yeah, French too today. All right, let's see what it's looking like now. Let's see if our noodles are making any progress. Right. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's simmering a lot more. Breaks in sour cream, yes, and Daisy. That's another one I go to. Oh, yeah, that's looking fantastic. I always can tell by, like, the color of the bay leaf, whether it's cooked enough, too. Is that weird? I don't know. Well, I didn't know that. I just started using bay leaves mm -hmm. probably in the last couple of years. Um, my mom never used it growing up. We, we, we never had those. <laughs> no, we didn't either. It was, like, um, something that we would have at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Because it was, like, in the spice section at that time. And we had a small grocery store that we went to. Yes, it needs to have faded color. That is for sure. So I'm going to end up savoring the last bit of this flavor. Because I'm going to add a little bit more water. Because my liquid has evaporated. So that's the nice thing. Is that you can't mess this thing up too much. Just add or take as you go. That's right. I got Oh, he's leaving. <laughs> I was wondering why he was running around everywhere. My one of one of my five bosses. <laughs> Add a little bit more liquid to this. Oh yeah, for sure. So and I've all we've also made it more of like a soupy consistency, and then I've had it where it's more of a thick consistency. So you can do it either way, whatever you like. Yes, yes, definitely. Now I wonder how. I did, I have heard that this is um, a Russian, you know, authentic, where this is where it originated from is Russia. But what did they use? Was it like ground beef? Um, does anyone know? Is the person still in here that was saying that? Um, was that was a, or M. Mary or something like that? I'm, I'm not sure. They know. I know they know. Um, let's see here. That is how we have had goulash too. That's Jojo. Um, let's see here. Not weird at all. I don't think so. It needs to be faded in color on the bay leaf. We know that. Um, just love bay leaves in chicken dishes. That's Ashton. Yes. <laughs> Chef Bradley says, now I'm going to have to make this for dinner. Well, yeah, it's easy. It's quick and easy. And affordable. Yep. And traditionally, goulash is used with beef cubes, but, you know, that better than bouillon. <laughs> this will do the job. Yep. Oh, yeah. And little known fact, my first jar that I ever got of that, I thought you could just store it in the counter on the in the cabinet like you could with the, the cubes. cubes. You could just throw it up there. And actually, it was on a live. It was my first jar. I had just opened it, and I had put it up in the cabinet. And Sherry and Kaz were like, no, it says to keep refrigerated. And I looked and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and left it up there for like a, it had been like a week. So I threw that, my first jar, I had to throw it out. 
Well, there's so many things that are supposed to be refrigerated that, you know, I didn't know. And I still don't refrigerate them. Like, I think they recommend that you refrigerate soy sauce even. Or there was something that blew my mind. I was like, you're supposed to refrigerate that? That is yeah. just odd. And some people don't refrigerate their hot sauce. I, I do. I can't not do it. Even though it says not. It doesn't say that you have to, but I do refrigerate mine. Yeah. So, I mean, I everyone's different. But as long as you're not, like, risking your... Oh, your like gut health. <laughs> he said cubed beef meat is oh. instead of bull, not the bouillon. Okay. Beef cubed. Okay. Cubed beef. Okay. Got you. <laughs> like stew meat. <laughs> there yeah. you go. You got me. Okay. So I want you guys to look at it. It's looking, it's looking better. It's getting That's there. Nice. Um, so let's see here if I can figure this name out. Um, some shit post, I guess is what it says. Refrigerating hot sauce makes it lose its spice. I didn't know that. Does it? I walked. Has anyone mm. else walked? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it does look good. Google says it's Hungarian, but I think it's Hungarian and Russian. I think it's kind of like from that area. To be honest, I mean, back in the day, I wonder if like... Hold on. Hungarian even communicated or like if these countries were able to even communicate with each other they probably just individually made their own one pot dishes with what they had and just called it goulash you know and they're probably really different jojo i'm gonna have to agree with your parents on this one he said his parents keep the ketchup in the refrigerator but he can't stand cold ketchup but i like cold ketchup i don't I have to refrigerate ketchup yeah <laughs> Goulash means herdsman, and traditional con Hungarian uses uses cubed beef. Yeah, I can't even talk right. Interesting. Yeah. I also make making shepherd's pie, and that's an that's like an Irish traditional recipe, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I think they probably use like lamb, but mm -hmm. you know, I use it with ground. I make it with ground beef, and Same. I call it my Americanized shepherd's pie. So this is my americanized goulash um it says uh, ashton says it also has a lot of vegetables and not many use pasta or rice as fillers which you know that makes so is it more of like a soup originally because i make mine somewhere between like a soup and a spaghetti <laughs> jojo says cold ketchup on hot salty fries hurts his brain <laughs> <laughs> brain freeze He's like, he just can't do it. It's hot and the cold together. No. <laughs> it's a no for him. I get that. I get that. Cause I guess, uh, you, like when I go to, uh, well, any restaurant and you get the ketchup, they don't refrigerate it. It's like just in a box somewhere. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. And like, um, the little like condiments you get from the fast food restaurants, they're not cold, but maybe they have some extra preservative in them or something to make it okay. I'm not really Let's see. It, this I, it, looks like it's falling apart a little, so it might be close oh. to done. So let me just try one noodle to see if it's That's done. That's how I do it too with those noodles. I have to try it it's to see what the bite is on it. Yes, I don't like mine too like soft. I like them a little past al dente. Isumi 66, I'm sure I didn't say that correctly, says, I had my first bowl of goulash in Munich, Germany, and I have predicted since. Oh, I bet it's good over there. Mm. So I can already tell that's done. That's done. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Goulash uses cubed stew meat, carrots, potatoes, tomatoes and onions it's more stewish okay that's cool thanks ashton oh cool that's kind of what i do it's like more of a stew than a soup yeah it looks amazing it really does guys if you like this recipe or you like what's going on here definitely give food talk tv a follow and and follow ashby cooking um, she is our host right now. I'm your co-host, October Dragonfly. And uh, you can follow me as well on my social medias, just like Granny. And you can follow uh, Gluten-Free Mama Ann. 
Cherry underscore Skinner, just, uh, let's see, I said just like Granny, Cooking with Kaz, and Frank Mentors SF, as well as Guadua Cooks. I know I'm forgetting somebody. Um, Sketchy Chef. Forgot, I can't forget her. Nope. Uh, you guys give us all a follow. You can follow all, all of the creators that are on foodtalktv.com. That's the yeah. best way to find all of us and to find us. Get everything in one spot. The That's website. Right. Perfect. So I'm going to take the bay leaf out. I mean, it could have been in there longer for more flavor, but I don't want my noodles to get any more done than they are. So I'm going to remove it. It yeah. lightened up a little bit, but yeah. you know. Yeah, that looks good. Um, let's see here. It, 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 this festival is where they found that, um, that goulash in Munich. It's so fun. I'm going to go get some sour cream and cheese, y'all. I'll be right back. In Sweden, they add black currant jelly it adds flavor, flavor, depth, and a tiny sweet taste. I know they like to be adding the jelly to stuff over there in Sweden. I don't, I don't hate it. Like you know, they put stuff on their meatballs and everything else. What is that lingonberry that they add to everything? I don't mind that at all. All right, so I am going to go ahead and put this in a bowl. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I can get some liquid, just some of the liquid. Not too much. It's still not. Yeah, okay. savory and sweet. I do like that. The extent of my Swedish education is Ikea. I keep that. <laughs> and you, and you um, Ashton. Right, right. I'm gonna add cheese, guys. Everybody's been waiting on the cheese. <laughs> yes, this is the, the cheese is always the star of the show. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to mix this up. And, and then add sour cream and top it with even more cheese. Because, <laughs> you know, cheese is the best ingredient to any recipe. Ashton says, forget your images, please. Okay, I got you, girl. Scoot that down a little bit. I want to see what you got going on in that bowl. All right. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Got some cheese in there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some no, sour dude, cheese cream. cream. Okay. Come down here. I'm going to get that thing I told me to get, that phone holder. I have to. So I don't have to keep grabbing the phone. Nope, you're fine. Okay, so a little sour cream cheese first. She said no cheese first, then sour cream, then green onions. <laughs> oh, I don't have green onions, but I love adding green onions. But yeah, like you know, if you have it, if you have it, if you don't, that's fine. It's still the good. plate, you know. <laughs> so I put in there already. Mm -hmm. and now I'm going to add some sour cream on the top. What about dried? chives or anything green she is definitely thinking for plating pictures <laughs> but yes too. i have some basil you think that would throw it off too much don't put that in there <laughs> <laughs> she's like i'm doing it <laughs> oh anything green she said anything green she said yes i have some dried cilantro and some no basil basil, basil. Where's the cilantro? Where did you go? Like if you had a sprig just to for the picture, just a little sprig on the top would look cute. Okay. I'm getting you guys all in the fridge. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, it was, girl. It was hiding. Wild. I actually cilantro this stuff. I much rather have fresh cilantro, but this is nice just for garnishing for pictures for sure. I'm gonna eat this bowl. Ashton, I know you're worried about the picture. I'm going to make another pretty bowl. I just okay. want to get <laughs> I got you, though. Don't worry. Okay. She said, yes, chives, too. It's a oh, little okay. green on top. All right. I'll take the first bite for you guys. And I'm going to use this to make a pretty plate for a okay. picture. Definitely. Yes. 
All right. Definitely. Let's see. Make sure you don't burn your mouth. <laughs> I know. The sour cream is going to help cool it down. So I'm going to get mostly sour cream. I'm going to blow on it. I'm going to blow on it a little bit so I don't burn my taste buds off. I know, which we are famous for doing, by the way, here on Food Talk TV, which you can follow us right up there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. When I was young, I never had sour cream with it, but now I can't have it without the sour cream. Right, right. It's like once you know, like you know what's mm -hmm. good. Now, yep. me personally, I like to add like a mount of like a cheese mountain. Yeah, she said, don't burn your mouth. That's uh, how you know Christine's a mama. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, because you guys are old enough to be my babies. Oh, look at the pretty lights. Bama sent you. I love them. Oh, Bama, thank you so much. So I don't know what any of this that, that means, but I know it means that you're sending a gift or something. Yeah. Thank yes. you so much. A beautiful gift. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to take one more bite before I can make Me it. Me too. You're sketchy. We're like all like, now we want goulash. We, I am, girl, I'm about ready to go home. Give me some goulash going. Hmm. But I had I bought shaved beef last night, so I need to make a recipe with that tonight. So I can't. Shaved beef, did you have anything in mind? Uh, just slapping it on there with some cheese. I don't know yet. I don't know. Like, sometimes I just wait until inspiration strikes me. That's the best way. My best stuff comes out like that. And I'm not even videoing or anything. I know. Most of the time, it's the kids telling me, oh, I want this or, oh, I want that. So. Oh, see, All that's. All right, you guys. Right. I am about 10 or 12 minutes out from my hour mark. Um, go ahead and tap those screens extra yes. before I get off here. Tap, tap, tap. Like. Share it. Even though I'm about to go. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on what any of us on Food Talk TV should make next, go ahead and comment on one of our videos, one of our recent posts. And yep. let us know, and we'll try out any of the recipes that, you know, you guys suggest. If one of us has a good recipe to it, I'd be willing to try. I can't speak for everyone, but I'd be willing to try any of the recipe I'll try anything. I'll, I'm willing to ruin anything at least one time. <laughs> Gotta do, you gotta ruin it once so that you don't ruin it ever again. Well, that's pretty much the truth. Uh, 15,000 likes. We have uh, 34 people in here right now, but I think the top I saw was like 120. So that's pretty awesome. Thank you guys for joining us and uh, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Yep. This recipe will be up later on the website, foodtalktv.com. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Christine, for being in here in my box. And thank you to all of you guys. Um, Follow Cooking talk family, but everyone that joined, we appreciate you guys. Follow, 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 follow. And then we have someone go live at least every day on here, right? I mean, that's right, every day. Somebody, yeah, so every day. Now I'll be on on Sunday, and um, I'm not sure who's going next. So, um, there we go. So we have well, if you guys are following us, you won't miss a beat. So make sure you hit follow, so that you can see at least one or two lives every day. Uh, Ashton is doing Saturday that we do know. So there's just Thursday, like Granny, Friday. you don't miss that. She cooks some good southern food. So hey. Saturday, she's going live. We have someone go live every day, you guys. So make sure you're following. And again, thank you guys so much for joining. And until we go live again next Wednesday, I will see you guys then. All right. See you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye. bye.